Hey, my loves. All right. We are back. And we are going to tap into the energies of my air signs. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini for the upcoming moon and Capricorn. We're going to see what's going on with you and see what energies that you're going to be in or that's going to be around you for this upcoming full moon, okay? All right. Please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless, okay? All right. Let's see what's going on with you, my Libras, my Aquarius, and my Geminis. Now, these readings have been coming out regarding love, so we're just going to tap into the energies of love for this upcoming full moon. See what's going on with you. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what are the main energies that are surrounding Cap... Or, ooh, I almost said Capricorn. Well, this is the Capricorn moon, but what are the leading energies that are surrounding my air signs? Okay, we got one coming on out. What is this? We have the sin. This is the high priestess energy. Listen to your intuition. Uh-huh, you all, look how you look. You already know. It's like you waiting on confirmation for your intuition, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, look, you waiting like, I already know the truth. I'm just trying to see if you know it too. Oh my God, are you gonna say it, okay? Listening deeply to yourself, okay? And then we have the hermit energy. I said listen deeply to yourself and the hermit energy is a self-reflecting energy. Seek, seeking you will find, okay? I heard, li Ooh. pay attention, pay attention, pay attention to yourself and clarity of belief, you see what I'm saying? Behind this hermit energy, hermit energy is Virgo energy as well. You could be get, receiving some type of messages or downloads within yourself. This is why listen. This is a very listen to your intuition. These are two major arcanas that's coming out back to back. You really, really gotta trust. Trust that you know. Trust that you heard correctly is what I'm hearing. Trust that you that you um that you know deeply within yourself because you you set within your energies to really really understand self this is spiritual self here listen to your intuitions they keep screaming that at me so i'm gonna keep saying it yeah listen to your intuition you know what's up okay all right honey spirit what message do you have for my my air signs what message do you have? You know the truth. Trust the truth. Okay, I heard you. Trust the truth. Getting to know each other. Ooh. They say get one more. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You know this. This is why you're listening. <gasps> you're being a very good listener here. Yeah. You are. Um... Air signs. I mean, because the air energy is a communicative energy here. So y'all very y'all y'all do speak y'all mind. Y'all do communicate at a higher level than other um, zodiac signs as well. But right now you're listening. You're listening to your other person. You're listening to the situation. You're listening to yourself about how you feel about a person or a situation or a place or something of the sort. Let's get one more. They say get one more. Okay. Yeah. Seeking you a fine. This is why you're listening because you're listening for information that you need in order for you to know which way to go, how to go, how to move forward. Okay. They said one more. Okay. No, that's too many. You said one more. Don't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Retreat. Beautiful. Um, it says it's time to disconnect from the world. I'm hearing it's time to not listen to other people, okay? What other people say, how other people feel, what they think. Nah, nah, nah. Y'all getting to know each other. Maybe some of you guys could be going on a trip or taking some type of time together this weekend or this upcoming full moon. Um, it could be the weekend because they roll out my mouth, so it could be the weekend. But for this full moon energies. Yeah, you guys are, it's like a, um, I heard a private conversation here. This is also to just, uh, okay, I heard you, Spirit, thank you. This is deep spiritual conversation here. Yep. 
and you're going to be the listener. You're going to listen to what this person has to say. You're going to listen to how they feel. You're going to listen to where they're coming from. You're going to listen to how you feel about this conversation or this person. You see what I'm saying? Very deep reflective energy here, especially with this hermit and this high priestess here. Very spiritual. You are awakened. If you're not, uh huh, you're awakened. I can't even say if you're not. Bottom of the day, we have romantic feelings. Oh, your feelings are real and worth exploring. This is what y'all talking about. It could be a very, oh, okay, you guys can have a romantic night. But just sitting up talking and revealing your innermost deep feelings and secrets. And, you know, this is um very romantic. Yeah, with the, of course, with the romantic feelings. I mean, okay, go ahead with yourself. Uh-huh. Religious factors is not an issue. Religious factors is not an issue. Let me tell you something, uh, um, uh, air signs. This, this will happen. Now, when I shuffle and get my cards ready to, to um, read, I do it off camera. I don't let you guys see that part. Only because it takes up time. Not because I'm trying to hide no shit or whatever, but it just takes up time and I want to give it with the message, right? So, with this deck, normally I'll shuffle, sh you know, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Uh-uh. They had me lay this down and shuffle it up like dominoes. This is how I got these cards here. Preparing for your reading, I had to shuffle them like dominoes and then put them together. And these, and they said, let the reverses stay in reverse and let the upright stay in upright. And you got two of them in the upright back to back. This is good omens. Okay. This is good. This is, this is getting to know each other. This is another person that you're going to listen to and you're going to retreat within yourself to really figure out what it is that you really want. But I'm going to tell you though, this, this, this is going to be a good conversation for you to go with your intuition here. Oh yeah. It's like, I always knew it. And look, stay optimistic about your love life is in the reverse. This is why you really listening to yourself. You really listening to this person and you really listen to self because air signs, you are not optimistic about your love life at all. This is why they had me shuffling it up like dominoes. I mean, somebody could be a, a hell of a domino player, love to play dominoes. You could play dominoes with your person while y'all talking. Something of the sort. Somebody could be really, really good at playing dominoes. I'm just saying. But yeah, they had me shuffle it up like dominoes and then collect it in. Whatever was in reverse is in reverse. They said leave the reversals in reverse. This is why they said leave the reversals in reverse. It's because you are not optimistic about your love life. This is the reason why you're having this deep conversation with this person. Oh my goodness, I didn't even get into the tarot. Okay, let's roll. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Dang, I'm gonna spend. Look, everybody else's video was like seven, eight minutes. I'm shit. I didn't even get into the tarot with yours, but let's roll. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me about the energy? Thank you. <gasps> the King of Cups. It's a lot of love here. It's a lot of self love, but this is also to somebody that is in control of their emotions, and they have a lot of love to give. Look at that big ass cup, and this is the male energy here. Especially being the first energies out. Yes, I'm calling it as a male energy. I can't. What the fuck I'm gonna do? But yeah, they have a lot of love here. A lot of love. And then you have the four of wands here. Okay, look, this this conversation that you're gonna have is gonna come from the heart space here because you want some type of stable foundation here. You know, a, a, a clear understanding here. So you could be stable and focused and move forward and build with this person. Okay, because what the tower is here. This is happening out of the blue. Now, let me tell you something with the tower and the star. This is um, uh, Aries Scorpio energy and this is Aquarian energy. Here you go. Aquarius showing up in your reading. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Pisces then already showed up too. Okay, this is Pisces energy, but whatever. And then Virgo is here. Okay, now with this star and this tower, this is not a bad tower. This is something that has to be shaken up within yourself in order for you to be receive healing, receive the blessings, receive your wish fulfillment here. It's something internal here. And the reason why I say internal is because, excuse me, you have the high priestess here. This is all about you, Air Sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay? 
This is about you. So this tower right here had to come in to shake you out of whatever it is that you're not optimistic about here. And if you don't get out of this energy, the tower will come. Okay? So don't 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 self-sabotage here. I'm just saying. Uh-uh. Don't self-sabotage here. Let's see. Let's get one more. And then we have the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's some type of grief or regret here. It's, it's making you not be optimistic about your love life here. I don't know. Oh. This tower is scary. This tower is scary. Don't be scared of the tower. This is making me feel like it's making me feel like um it's making me feel a little bit of fear here. This is what you're being busted out of that fear. Fear of love because healing is here. Okay, let's get one more. Let's get one more. Holy Spirit, thank you. And then we have the strength. Woo, Leo energy here. This could happen in Leo season as well. Okay, this is, it's taking a lot of strength for you to um, open up. But the King of Cups, the King of Cups is very um, in control of their emotions. They could also too be um, sometimes um, too in control of their emotions here, especially with this strength here. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, holding on tight to not really want to open up to love here. Yeah, this is why that tower is here, because that is being kicked to the curb here. Okay, so if you, this optimism that's in reverse about your love life, this is the most high God saying, shit, hell no, fuck no, I'm kicking that shit out. Because you don't need that energy around you, because you have a lot of love here. And I'm trying to bring you your wishes and your dreams and shit, but you have to, you, 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 you have to do this. You have to, okay, I heard you, spirit, thank you. You have to overcome your fears. And they're, you're being gifted the energy too. But with this tower, you don't want the most high God to do it for you. He's giving you a chance to overcome your fears by yourself. Because if you don't, this tower will come in and bam, you ain't got no choice but to face your fears. So do it on your terms instead of letting God do it for you because he come in, kick it in, kick it over tables and 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 and, and, and 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 busting out shit and you know you be like whoa on a roller coaster you know what i mean but yeah it, it, it could be all of a sudden this 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 could be all of a sudden i heard changing idea yeah change your ideas or you're changing your ideas is yeah you're changing your ideas hell yeah you're changing your ideas uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Look, the sun at the bottom of the deck. Here go Leo energy again. It's going to happen in Leo season. This idea is going to be completely kicked out of your life. This is what you're listening to, your intuition here. Because you're scared of this optimism that you have about your love life right here. And this energy says, she is not my child. You're going to heal and you're going to be strong. And you're going to be able to move forward in this connection or in this situation or in this space that you find yourself having to rely on your intuition. Damn. All right, Air Science. <laughs> this is what I have for you. I'm going to leave it right there because it was a beautiful message here. This is the Most High God coming in here to help you do it for you or help you get it done. Thank you. Help you get it done. Okay. All right. This is what I have. So I'll leave it here. Till next time. Take care. Bye.